Welcome to Sunshine Art and Drawing. Today I'm going to be showing you an awesome art hack where you can make your own watercolour resist at home using simple ingredients. The only thing you're going to need is a stick deodorant. Lady Speed Stick, Men's Speed Stick, any of those, the Dove one, all of them will work. They all have very similar ingredients. You just need to scrape a small amount off the top of a new one into a little bowl and you can heat it up. Either you can use a candle like I'm doing here, which is a really easy and convenient way to heat it up if you're at your desk, but you can also do it in the microwave, which I tested in the second half of this video. Works exactly the same, just about 10 seconds to 30 seconds in the microwave. Just make sure to check just to get it to a liquid state, as you can see here. And then once it's all liquidy, you just need to grab an old brush, one that you don't really care about, and use that to paint where you want your resist to be. So let's start with a little bunny that I would paint him first and then I'm just going to do little patterns and designs all around him because I want to test out all the different colors of my watercolor to see how well this goes. I tried to kind of flick it and because it's a paste it doesn't really flick very well but I think if you use something like a toothpick, you could probably make little pinpoint stars, which is what I end up doing in the end of this. I was having a bit of a look around to see if I had anything that would assist me with that, but I don't think anything's really going to make it flick onto a page the same way that watercolour does. But you can continue to paint with it as long as it's liquid, and if it does get a bit thick and doesn't really want to spread anymore, you can just pop it back onto the candle like I do, as you can see here and give it a quick stir and it will melt back to a liquid again. I have a feeling that the main ingredient in this is some kind of oil, probably like coconut oil, that's why it's solid at room temperature and um, becomes liquid when it's just a little bit warm. And as you can see you can make little dots, you can make little patches and it also will scrape off of the page really really easily. So once you've completed that, make sure to blow out your candle so that you don't accidentally hurt yourself. And you can use a hairdryer just to dry it. Make sure your hairdryer is on cold and doesn't have the heat setting turned on at all. Or if you've got like a little cold button, hold that down just to make sure it's cold. Because you don't want to remelt your design. And here I'm just going to use all different colours because I want to test out um, whether any of the colours bleed through underneath or whether there are any sort of issues with the colours staining the paper or anything like that. And I'm just going to use all different colours, orange and red and green and blue and purple just to see how it all turns out. I've kind of run out of yellow in this kit so I didn't get a chance to choose the yellow but I doubt that would probably, I doubt it would cause us any issues. Yellow is usually a pretty inert colour that doesn't affect things very much but things like greens and blues can be staining and that's why I wanted to check whether or not anything happens underneath. So once you've completed that and let it dry or you can use just a hairdryer on cold you just need to use a sharp edge object you can even use your fingernail it'll probably work and then just gently scrape off each of the little dots of the deodorant. You can scratch it off um, like quickly like I'm doing or you can just do it one dot at a time and just pop them all to the side you can just put them back in the little bowl or something like that it's not really that messy to do luckily and the only thing it smells like is the perfume that's in the deodorant stick so if you've used like a men's one it'll smell like a men's perfume because it kind of smells a bit like a an essential oil like if you warm up the perfume it sort of makes the room smell like that smell so if you pick one you don't like you're gonna have to deal with the smell of it but it is a handy way of using up um, say if you've bought a deodorant stick you don't use or you've never used it's a useful way of using it up if you're going to use a deodorant stick that you've used on your body I would recommend sort of scraping off the top layer and discarding that you probably don't want to use a stick that you've used on your body but if it's one you know you're not going to use the rest of make sure to like scrape off the part that's touched your body and then use the rest of it a little bit at a time you can't really make this ahead of time because it will just solidify again but I'm sure that you could probably you know buy a stick especially for this because they're not expensive they're about maybe two or three dollars 
and then just have this one in your art room as the one that you use especially for this that way you're not gonna sort of mix them up or anything like that and once you've got all the little bits of deodorant off you'll find that it's created quite a crisp clear resist it's not like candle wax or anything like that where it seems to spread out this will stay where you put it which is super handy if you're trying to do something specific or if you're trying to make like a white section of your artwork um, say like stars or something like that where you really don't want it to bleed through but as you can see it has created a great resist now let's have a bit of a go doing an artwork this one here I melted in the microwave and in my microwave it's about 800 watts and it took about 10 seconds on high but I'd recommend just to test out your microwave probably do it for 30 seconds on half power and stop it every 10 seconds to check just to make sure you don't overheat it because I think it probably might separate so do your little dots where you want them the easy way to do a moon in paint or even in this is to just place your finger in one spot and then spin the piece of paper around and that'll give you a kind of a moon shape it's really handy and I'm just showing you there you can use anything with a flat edge like a ruler and it will make it really easy to kind of scratch off the dots now let it dry for a bit or use a hairdryer on cold to dry off the little dots before you paint and grab yourself some nice dark blue like I'm doing here and I'm going to be making a starry sky so let's just paint all of that on I'm adding a bit of extra water because I want it to be kind of a mottled sky I don't want it to be too plain one color I just want it to be sort of all different watered down watercolor and you might find you need to go back and forth over the dots just to make sure you cover them completely um, then you won't get any weird spots and I'm just using some darker blue in some spots and some lighter like watered down blue in other spots to make it look a bit more like a night sky just paint over the entire thing in blue you don't have to worry about leaving spaces for the stars or anything and then you can do your grassy sort of lawn at the bottom or the ground I'm just making this very very simple just so I can show you the effect and then once you've completely painted it and make sure that you go to the edges and touch all those up and I made sure I did the edges on both sides it's one tip for art is always go to the edges and once you've let it dry I did with mine with the hairdryer but you can just leave it say like for half an hour or so until the paint dries feel around just to make sure it's completely dry and then you can use like a knife as I'm doing here to remove the dots they kind of stick to your finger a little bit so it's easy to remove them if they do fall somewhere else on the artwork you can use a palette knife mine's a bit worse for wear but that will also sort of lift them off and here I'm going to be using a ruler just to show that you can use any tool just in case you're not confident with a knife or you're not allowed to use a knife I know some people don't want to be using knives in their artwork totally understand so using something like even just a little nail file like this would be perfect so if you don't have or don't use knives or don't want to use something sharp just pick something else with a flat kind of layer but because I've got it here and it's just easier to do I'm just going to be using a knife to remove all of these little dots so let's grab that knife and get going I do find it's probably better to go in one direction rather than trying to go back and forth if you go sort of all one direction like I'm trying to go all upwards it will allow the little dots to kind of catch on the edge of the knife and you can just wipe them off this knife is not sharp I thought I might just let you know the reason why I use it as my art knife is because this knife is essentially blunt and it doesn't really sharpen very well anymore so I thought you know I'll just pop it in my art room and use it as a sort of palette knife it's very handy for opening packages and fixing things up when you just need like a little point and just use some common sense and be careful around knives just to make sure that you're not cutting yourself and always cut away from yourself that's why I'm scraping upwards so that if I slip or anything happens it's away from me so I'm not going to cut myself not that this knife could cut anything it's very very blunt 
And once you've taken all your little stars off, I wanted to leave the best till last and do the moon last. And then show you how it all turns out. So let's get that moon. Because the moon is a bit of a thicker piece, I recommend just working slowly and gently across it. Just to make sure that you don't, you know, smear anything or accidentally cut the page or the paper. And I'm just making sure I've got that nice edge that was just a little bit stuck there. So you get your little moon as well. And if you get any on your hands, it washes off with hand soap. If you get any on your clothing or on like your utensils, like your little bowl, they'll just wash in the dishwashing liquid with the normal washing up. And it is safe for your skin because you put it on as deodorant. Just make sure to wash your hands afterwards. But as you can see, it turned out really pretty. You've got nice little crisp stars of all different shapes. I really hope you'll give this one a try. Thanks so much for watching and have a sunshiny day. Bye.